Hey everyone, this is a video tutorial for how to build the interlaced polyhedra V7. Now the first thing you're going to need are six of these pieces. The way that you build these is you start off with two stacked rings of 28, which you smash down into a long straight piece, and two double stacked rings of 13 which also get smashed down into long straight pieces. For the, for the long one, you take a chain and on the side with the points, so not this side that ends with just kind of square, but this side that ends in a point, you want to remove the middle two magnets. Just like that. And then for these, you want to remove this one magnet out here on the end, on both of those. And then you can kind of pick this up and let it sit like that and attach these just like that. And then also on the other side. And then you take a chain and you want to add a single magnet down just like that and do that to all four corners. And then finally, you take a little square and add that down right on top, like that. And that's how you make these, and you need six of them. Then you also need eight of these. And these are a little bit more complex. And the way that you make them is you start off with six stacked rings of 24. And you flatten them out and cut them up into three long straight pieces and attach them together on the ends and bend them around till they attach on the other side. Then you just kind of bend them up and there's the three magnets there in the middle that form a little tiny triangle and you remove those with a chain carefully because it does kind of like to fall apart. And then you can kind of slide these over to where it does that, and these three magnets can come together. Then you want to bend the legs down until those three magnets on top split away. Then you want to take your chain and remove those. And then make a hexagon ring. Add that down on top. Then make a small triangle and add that down on top of the hexagon. Now the three legs are uneven. There's a short leg, a medium length leg, and a long leg. And from the, you wanna make them all like the short leg. So from the medium leg, you have to remove two magnet magnets. And from the long leg, you have to remove four. And now you have that. And the next thing you wanna do is take six stacked rings of 13 and cut them up into three long straight pieces. And before you do this, you wanna make sure that they're the same polarity. And you can check that by touching them together at the points. And if they touch together like this, then they're the same polarity. And if I tried to switch the polarity and do that, it would, you know, it would not stick. So make sure they're the same polarity. Then you take the three of these, attach them together, just like you did for starting that, and bend them around, but you wanna leave it here. That's as much as you do. Then you take three stacked rings of six, and you wanna pinch one end down into a triangle, and that is going to go down right on top of this here, so that the point of the triangle is going to go right in between those two magnets. So it'll go down just like that. And then up here, you want to pinch it down into another triangle, but you want this triangle to be the opposite direction of the one down here. So this thing on top actually is kind of a tiny little octahedron. And then you can take this and fit it down into the center of that so that this triangle goes down into that spot there. Just 
just like that. And you need eight of these. So now to start building the shape, you take the six of these and you kind of join the edges together by bringing the points to the sides and sliding them together like that. And you take all six of them and you make an octahedron. Okay, and now you have an octahedron frame. The next thing you need to do is take one of these and set it down inside the triangle. And you want these three outer points to sit um, right on the inside of each of these corners. Just like that. And you want to be careful though because you see these will sometimes like to stick to the edges and you will need to take a card and kind of fix that. But now what you want to do is take another one and do the same thing, but when these two edges come together, this one and that one, you want to do the thing with the points just like you did when you were assembling the octahedron subunits. Just like that, you see. So then you just continue around and do the same thing to all, uh, all eight sides. And that's it. That is the interlaced polyhedra V7. And you may want to straighten a couple of edges to make it look nice. Like I have a few bent edges here and there, but nothing that can't be fixed if you just kind of adjust them a little bit. And that's how you make it. And now I guess I will smash it.